Hey guys, Simri Jones here. Just thought I'd do another quick-ish little video because I've had quite a steady uh, flow of subscribers lately. So just in case you weren't aware of the all the types of content that I do, that I kind of quickly run through it. So first off, I'll I'll just quickly go through the links up here. So first off, some of you may know that I was a blogger before I was a YouTuber. So Bubbles of Mischief is my main blog. Um, and you can find a lot of content from, I think, 2011. Yeah, that's pretty much when I started the blog. Um, so Lately, it's been a lot of pet content, as you can see in the banner up here. And I do like to do some transmog stuff. I did a whole series on the superhero stuff, which you can see by either clicking on this Super Sunday icon or access it through the menu. So the other big sections I pretty much covered were all the silver dragons that were in the game back um back to vanilla so i haven't actually done the last couple of expansions because technically they're not really silver dragons anymore or i should say rares rares were what they were because you would have to camp them and stuff like that these days you don't really need to um so they're not as exciting really but you can see these are my most popular pages on the right hand side these six little pictures here um, and if you go down to the bottom you can see a few subsections that are some of the more popular ones um, yeah uh, pet content because I've done so much of it I've actually split into two sections so one is mainly collecting pets the other one is the actual battling so all the tamers and stuff like that you can see from there. Uh, some of the pages I'm most proud of, I would have to say, is my transmog section. So you can see all the ones down here, or as I said, my favorite ones are actually here. If you click on this one, this actually takes you to a YouTube video of all the superheroes that I've done. I've done both DC and Marvel. Um, yeah, actually, if you click on, well, why don't we click on it? Just so you can see the ones I've done so far. Um, yeah, so I've pretty much done an even number of DC and Marvel. You can, I'll scroll down here so you can actually kind of see which ones I've actually tackled. So they're not all technically transmog. Most of them are like a mix and match of different armors and stuff because I did want to get the as close to the costume as I could. So yeah, for that I had to mix and match quite a bit. But I think for things like Catwoman, I did do a the true transmog, but you can have a look at those in your leisure. Okay, so back to the um, main YouTube page. Twitter is the one I'm most active on, so you can always join me there. And two ways you can support the channel if you choose to do that. Um, one is through Patreon and the other one is through PayPal. Um, you can set that up as a monthly donation if you want to do that. Um, basically, if you uh, pledge $5 a month, you get access to all my rematch strings. So if you follow a lot of my strategies, um, it will definitely speed things up and make things a lot easier because you don't have to think about which abilities to select and which pets to select. It auto loads all of them for you, which is pretty handy. And then the last one is Facebook, although I'm not as uh, frequent on that one, but I do try and share things from time to time. So yeah, Twitter is probably the one you would find me the most active if I'm not uploading. So once you're a subscriber, you can see that I have one for transmogs and costumes. Um, the most recent one is the Baal belt. So once you upgraded Una and collected that long haul kind of journey to collecting Baal, you could 
collect this really cool belt that you can see in the picture there, the thumbnail. Um, and then popular uploads, you can see the type of content you will kind of run across or come to expect from my channel. So you can see these aren't the most um, current videos, but it gives you an idea of what I do like to upload. So things like, you know, the Indiana, or I should say Harrison Jones series back from Draenor, treasure videos, some mount stuff. Uh, let's see, that was to do with a silver dragon or a rare spawn. Um, a hell of a lot of pet stuff. You can see the dust bunny, that's my most popular one. Uh, some more mount stuff here. You can see I have two um, mount guides or camel guides because the fourth one was the one that I did first and that was pretty much just a flyover of all the spots that I had encountered, including a actual camel figurine that I actually found while I was doing the flyover. So that was the main reason I wanted to record it that day. And then the next year I decided to do another one because I had come across a few more camel sightings and locations. So I added that and I actually did a, um, kind of talked you through, you know, all the locations and things like that. Some little tips here and there. Then the other main one is how to collect a whole heap of pets going back to not sure if I had any back in Pandaria, but certainly the last few expansions that we've had. So you can see um, this one in particular, the top 10 battle pets for Legion. This is most useful if you do follow my strategies because these are the top 10 that I used for all of them. Um, and you can see that there's quite a selection. Oh, here's, uh, the where and when of where to find the rare wild pets. So some are seasonal, some are time dependent, stuff like that. That was pretty handy. Um, one thing I don't really like about the new UI is that you can only see the first 10 in a playlist. So if you click on the title, the pet collecting title, you will actually see my full list. Um, okay, so battle for Azeroth quests. I think this, this has been pretty hit and miss with the player base, I think, because a lot of people don't actually like these quests, but I actually found them quite fun. So my favorite would have to be the Make Low Go and probably the Shell game. Um, I actually don't mind the Turtle Tossing one. Well, at least his Shell. I found that quite fun. Anyway, all right. So Mysterious Trash Piles, if you like Johnny and collecting his little treasure chests. And the second one here is to actually transform some of the shrines, at least in Zandalar, to Johnny piles. So basically you get an instant scrappable shrine. So when you're out and about, you can scrap your junk there which is pretty handy, but note that you can switch back to whatever original totem that you had before. So I had the flying one, got the name of it, but yeah, you can switch it back if you just talk to that NPC that switched it in the first place. Um, treasure videos, you can see I have them from the past four expansions, so that's pretty handy. All the pet battle stuff for Battle for Azeroth. I've added the Pet Battle Dungeon because we recently had one added quite recently. You can, the Goma one, you can see there, and all the content from Legion, Draenor, Pandaria. And the first one, I've actually added uh, pretty much my circuit for the last, well, Drainer and Pandaria mainly because uh, Drainer is really the only one that I do on the regular. I, well, actually, I won't really say the regular because I haven't been doing that often. Just because there are just so many 
pets to level and doing the series of, um, what was it, the family babbler and all that kind of stuff kind of burns me out. So, yeah, I did have a Patreon perk to actually level pets for my patrons, like one pet per month. But I kind of stopped doing that because, you know, I had so many of my own pets to level and I wasn't um, just on as much as I was before. But yeah, that's basically it. Oh, the other thing is if you do want to see what my other playlists are, you can. Or if here you can see all my recent videos, which could be handy depending on what you're looking for. And oops. Playlists you can find. There we go. All right. You can see I have quite a selection of playlists. Um, some of them are already set up for in their own little section, but if you keep scrolling here, you should be able to see a few more. Okay, so hope that helped. Um, thank you very much for watching if you're watching to the end of the video and just like to say a quick thank you to all my subscribers and all my patrons and people who have supported me in the past. I really appreciate it and I hope you keep enjoying the content. So thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.